<laughs> what is up, motherfuckers? <laughs> so, back here again to carry Turbo Joe. Yes. He's too much of a bitch to talk about this topic on his own, so I'll fucking do it. Now, before we get started, he wanted me to tell you fucks that he'll be doing a 1K celebration live stream for this week's Wednesday Night Live, and he hopes you can be there. He's doing a game room tour, Q&A, live. Hope you can fucking hang out with Turbo Joe Wednesday night. Nine, about 9 p.m. Eastern? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, enough of that bullshit. I've been summoned again by you guys. Every time Turbo Joe tries to hide me in the closet, it's his viewers like you that bring me back by popular demand. So, I've had a request by Hollywood Polo. He wanted me to share my thoughts on the Evercade VS and some other Kickstarter console that I forgot the name of. So, uh, let's just start about, let's, let's just start with the Lemonade first. Evercade. Evercade. That's what I said, fucker. So, the Evercade. The money scamming Evercade company charging you a hundred bucks for their handheld and now they want to sell you their crap console this November. Yes, look at this picture. It even tries to copy the OG NES with a lid door opening. Yes. Now, let me give you the scoop on the uh, Evercade. You see, ladies and gentlemen, this is how it works. The Evercade can get these 40 year old game licenses for dirt cheap, then go over to the Chinese government and be like, hey, you slave riding, fish eating, genocide touting hypocrites, how cheap can you make me some plastic retro gaming consoles? I got some stupid dumb Americans that will get in line to pay top dollar for these 40 year old games that feature stick figure graphics. I just don't get how these grown men go gaga over this shit. And they'll curse you out and call you the most vile of names if you don't like that Evercade system, trust me. Turbo Joe made a video shitting on the Evercade last year, and he still gets cursed out and name called in the comment sections of that video to this day. <laughs> there are so many ways to already play retro games, not even mentioning every modern console of the last four generations of console gaming featured retro gaming. In addition to that, you can easily play retro games on your Android phone with a wireless controller for free. You can play retro games on even the cheapest of modern PCs, not to mention the many different retro consoles already on the market that allows you to use real original carts. You also have the Mr. The Retro Pie, the Retro Pie 4 that is, each would give you amazing value for your money. Why the fuck would anyone want to rebuy this repackaged shit? You know who it's for, right? It's for those fuckers that have to have everything. The fuckers that collect but never play the fucking games. That's who it's for. So, let's move on to the next topic. And here we have the Fudge Packer console. It's not called the Fudge Packer console, you idiot. It's the Pie Packer. What? Oh, the Chin Flapper. Pie Packer, Pie Packer. Oh, Pie Packer. That's what I said. Speak the fuck up next time. So, this Pie Packer console seems very interesting. It seems like you're going for cloud retro gaming, like what Google Stadia failed to do. Google has already pulled a plug on the Stadia, which was an epic fucking failure. A company with billions of bucks failed. So, so here comes this little Kickstarter pie fucker company that wants to give it a shot. Buy this console and you'll have access to thousands of retro games for free. 
And they don't say if you, they're going to charge you a fee to play these 30 to 40 year old games, but they do say that you can play online retro games with your friends. So now, every 40 plus year old video gamer that barely has times for his wife and kids can now find the time to go into a chat room, use emojis, and voice chat to communicate with your friends to play some fucking Pong! I don't know, maybe the Potty Humper may have some potential. In all seriousness, the trailer claimed that it would feature classic indie games and exclusive indie games. So, maybe there might be something interesting. We'll have to keep tabs on it. But yeah, count me the fuck out. In closing, the Evercade is 15 fucking years late to the retro party. Don't waste your money on that shit, motherfucker. And feel free, you Evercade rear packing motherfuckers, to attack me in the comments section. I know you want to. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Peace, motherfuckers. Now go home and get your fucking shine box. What the fuck? Is yeah. Rise from your grave.